Hey YouTube, doing a review on the Allen Edmonds Warwick. I got these in calf and they're also uh, in the oxblood color. Um, so far, pretty good shoes. Um, I got a little bit of a scratch on it. I've kind of tried to fill in with uh, wax, but typical of any other Allen Edmonds shoe, it's um, Goodyear welted with a rubber heel. Um, pretty comfortable shoes. The buckles kind of make a little bit of a sound when you walk. I have them on the loosest setting because I do keep uh, insole in the shoe because I have flat feet and it kind of helps with uh, making them a little more comfortable. Um, initially, they were a little bit rough to break in. I kind of felt I had a lot of pressure on the, on the top of the shoe, but that was because of probably my insole kind of pushing my foot up. Um, I got these in a size uh, 10D where, you know, I've kind of varied on very, de depending on the last of the shoe, I've gone anywhere from a 10 and a half D to, I think my uh, strands are in a 10E, but this seems to fit me pretty well. Pretty comfortable shoe and they look extremely good. I have a matching belt to go along with it. So it kind of has that, um, it's more burgundy, the belt's burgundy. So they kind of really look um, similar. The shoes look great in the sunlight and they're wearing in very nicely. As you can see, the leather has some creases coming in. I keep shoe trees in them to keep it nice. Um, the, I'd say the buckles are kind of like a gunmetal color, but yeah. So there you go. I do recommend these shoes. I think they're very sharp looking. If you haven't got any shoes that are in a reddish kind of tone, I would highly recommend it. Um, they definitely add a good thing to your wardrobe. They look great with black and... I kind of switch them around with the brown shoes. Sometimes I wear these and also my shell cordovans. Um, they're also in a burgundy as uh, also called the number eight. So yeah, Allen Edmonds uh, Warwick. Thanks.